Welcome back to this guy's garage. Well, if you made it here, you're probably on the YouTubes trying to find out how do I reset my proportional valve to get my brakes to bleed. Well, I'm going to tell you how. Coming up. guys garage like and subscribe so here's how it works when you press on your brakes it's a hydraulic system so it deadheads and it pushes on your brake pads and brake shoes but when you when you have a break in the system like a broken brake line what happens is fluid escapes so as soon as that fluid escapes you're gonna see a light come on your dash because Right here is your brake light switch. So when you see this light come on, you have a brake failure. Now you're not gonna completely lose your brakes. The idea of this whole proportional valve is to save your braking system. So if you lose the if you lose the back, it's gonna divert all braking to the front. If you lose a front line, it's gonna divert all your braking to the back. So you're gonna have half as much brakes. But what happens sometimes in these cases is your proportional valve, if you lose your rear brake line, so it's gonna push this valve in this direction. Not all the time, but sometimes what will happen is it will get stuck in this direction. So, which means is you replace your brake line, now you're pumping on your pedal, and you're not getting any fluid to the rear. And it could be the front, but for this example, I'm going to do for the rear. But whatever I say for the rear will work for the front. So no matter how much you bleed your brakes, you can't get fluid back to the rear. So that's that's why that's how you fail me. I'm going to I'm going to give you the gentle approach, and I'm going to give you the hail mary approach because more than likely, this is in a spot that's no fun to get at. Let me show you on mine. This is your master cylinder. And way down there is the proportional valve. It's in no fun place to get at. And if you can avoid taking that off, you really want to. So for the gentle approach, what you're gonna wanna do is get yourself, if you don't already have one, is a vacuum brake bleeder. Uh, these can be bought relatively cheap. These days they used to be way more expensive than they are now, but uh, you can find them on Amazon. I'll leave a link for one like this in the description. Uh, spending more money isn't always going to serve you more better because uh, it's just basically a siphon. It works like a paint gun, so air traveling past past the line here creates a vacuum in here. So as long, it, how good this works more depends on your compressor than on the, the piece itself. There, it's pretty simple technology. So, so you're so basically you're you're reverse bleeding to try to drag your proportional valve back in the opposite direction from which it came. So you're going to want to hook your brake bleeder up to your bleeder on your master cylinder. If you don't have a bleeder on your master cylinder, I'm going to show you another solution. Okay, just hold the camera. So now that we've got the brake bleeder hooked up and if you don't have one of these, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can pick up your own. They're relatively cheap to buy these days. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the brake bleeder to the bleeder on the master cylinder. And open that up like so. So you want to open that bleeder so you can draw fluid back. So the next thing you're going to have to do so you're able to draw the fluid back, you're going to need to open a rear bleeder. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up your rear bleeder, like so, and we're going to come back here, hook up the brake bleeder. So the reason why we opened up the rear bleeder is because we want to control the direction the fluid is traveling in. So the proportional valve is stuck in the direction that it's diverting all the fluid to the front. 
so I want to bring that valve back in line so what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the fluid back through the master cylinder on the bleeder and if you don't have a bleeder on your master cylinder you can use your front caliber I'll show so you. for this purposes I'm going to draw the fluid back You see that? You want you want to draw the fluid back. Okay. So now that we have fluid moving, we're going to fill up our master cylinder and we're going to go back and bleed the brakes as you'd normally bleed them. Oh, make sure that the bleeder on the master cylinder is closed. You only want to draw fluid through the master cylinder. So if you don't have a bleeder on your master cylinder, you can use the same process by opening up the bleeder right here. On your front brake, opening up the bleeder on your back brake, hooking up your machine and drawing the fluid back. Uh, I'm not going to do this because I already have it done, but that gives you the idea. So the brake lines are like a hydraulic highway. You just want to draw the fluid back so you can draw the diverter valve back with it. So the goal of this is to bring the diverter valve in your proportional valve back to center so fluid travels in all four directions again. So if you don't have a brake bleeder there's another Hail Mary option because you're going to you're going to be putting air into the system anyways if you got to remove this. So the Hail Mary option is this. The Hail Mary option is this. You're going to take your blow gun because if you have to remove the proportional valve you're going to have to bleed all the brake system anyway. So Rather than changing this proportional valve, I would take a Hail Mary, and this is what I use. I take my blow gun, I'd open up my front brake line, and open up your, your rear brake line right here. And what you're going to do, and what you're going to do is give this a little bump. You're, trying to move that proportional valve back in the right direction. So give it a little bump. You should see some brake fluid come out the front. That way you know you have fluid moving. So that's the Hail Mary version, but I would suggest the, the gentle version by the brake bleeder setup. I'd like to add just one more thing. Um, when bleeding with this, I never like to depend on bleeding my brakes with this alone. I always like to go back after it's bled out with this and do the buddy bleed system. So with that being said, I never like to depend on this, so I will always buddy bleed my brakes after using this. So that's the tech tip for reverse bleeding your brake system to reset your proportional valve. Um, again, I'll leave a link in the description for uh, this, and this is the much gentler version. This would be my preferred method of of reverse bleeding the brakes. This here is a little bit more aggressive, but if you're in a jam, it may get you in a pinch. So that's going to do it for this edition of This Guy's Garage. You can hit the subscribe button right there. You can watch another video right around here somewhere. And until the next time, this guy out. Guys Garage, like and subscribe.